Jordan, she had the swans. Yeah. It's a big guy. <laughs> What have you been getting up to these last couple of weeks? Right, last couple of weeks. Uh, God, it's been manic. We have been here, there and everywhere. We are in London a fortnight ago, so we were invited by the Australian Embassy as part of Austrade to accompany them as delegates. So working with between 10 and 15 Australian companies looking to land in the UK. Fantastic couple of days. I think we were up there for three days. All encompassing. Went to a number of fintech events over two, three days. One was with a lot of innovative companies, a lot of quite inventive companies within the tech scene, which was in the Guild Hall. And we went to another delegation, which was looking to link up potential businesses or startups with investors. And that was a really cool place called Level 3. 39, which is, I guess, similar to the engine shed, but for Canary Wharf. So yeah, they don't have the sights of Temple Meads outside. You've got a lovely view of London. But yeah, from there then, we came back down to Bristol on the Thursday, accompanied by three or four of the Australian companies. Showed them the lovely sights of Bristol, as well as inviting them to the Tech Spark or the Sparkies nomination party. So yeah, it's been really good. So what are the plans coming up for the next couple of months for Temple so yeah, probably touching on what I've just said there, obviously sometimes you can be a victim of your own success, so naturally we're growing. I think we've had a really good six months in terms of adding to the client roster, the guys that, that started at the back end of last year really hit the ground running. So we're looking to invest in expanding the team. So we've got a range of roles available at the moment, consultants joining with you know anything from a couple of months experience to actually very experienced consultants that have, have maybe been tried and tested within the, the recruitment team within Bristol and want to try something which is slightly different. So we're looking at people that maybe done recruitment become a bit I guess detached or uh, disillusioned with the world of recruitment where it's you know it can be quite I guess profit driven and you know, it can be very sort of statistically led at times. We're looking for people with, you know, strong communication and, and sort of personal skills. I think the offering here is is slightly different because we're all about trying to get, you know, our personality across. But, you know, I'd say in the last couple of years, we hardly do any active sales you know it's all it's all networking it's organic growth that way so we'll put some adverts out across the next couple of weeks but indeed if anybody's listening to this or watching i'd like to hear more about some of the opportunities we've got coming up feel free to reach out and yeah i'm, I'm more than happy to have a chat sounds good so george how have you been how was your trip away but yeah no i've been good thank you went to Milan a couple of weeks ago, bit of a last minute trip with some of my friends, which was really good. Went to the San Siro to watch the AC Milan game, which I've always wanted to do, which was amazing. Ah! really nice food as well which was the main point of my trip and uh managed to get away and convince the guys to go to lake como for a day which has been on my bucket list for years so really enjoyed that really nice views really good food and just a great experience to be honest so yeah phil came back feeling refreshed which is really nice um, yeah i was pretty jealous you know those photos you have yeah well i don't really post photos that often but i just thought something to save here isn't it and it makes people a little bit jealous and sometimes it's a bit of fun yeah so how's the past week been with talent yeah really good obviously coming back to refresh has been nice um sort of hit the ground running got a couple more clients as well um one of them actually really exciting global client who are based in bristol and um, they've got sort of several roles for us that we're currently working on so it's been quite a hectic we trying to source people for different areas which has been good and obviously not to take the focus away from from other clients we've got at the moment so yeah i've been putting some posts out on linkedin recently Looking, working with sort of software development companies and IT consultancies, especially at the moment, which is really, really beneficial. Um, I had my first actual meeting with a candidate um, this week, which went really well. Um, really enjoyed that, sort of getting an idea and a background to, to their role, which, as I mentioned before, Solutions Architect wasn't too well versed with. So, yeah, really enjoyed spending some time with, with the candidate in question. Um, really appreciate the time and had a, a good chinwag for 
around an hour and a half actually so lots of benefits this week hope we carry that into May and obviously have a, a really good month to carry on sounds really good sounds fun all good wait wait I need to take a drink from this hold on oh my god <laughs> Ma. This? Ma. Ma. Liv. Liv. Ma. Jordan, she's got the swans. Yeah. It's a big guy. <laughs> Jordan? Jordan. Dale. Jordan. Ma. Dale. 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 Ma. Ma. Jordan. Dale. It's gotta be Dale. Ma. Dale. Dale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Molly. Ash. Jordan. Well, Matt's very cute, so I'm going to say Matt. Bit of probably Matt. Molly. Jaya. Jaya. Probably Jaya. 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 I'm going to say Liv because it's funny. Jordan. Jaya. <laughs>